On June 23, 2022, an officer conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle after discovering it had not been registered since January of 2020 in West Salem, Wisconsin. It's going to be 16 in Maple Street. They're pulling over here. It'll be on a black Chevy Equinox occupied times two. Copy with previous license number you gave me. Upon approach, the officer asked the driver several times to hang up the phone and identify himself, to which he refused. Hey man, got your license proof insurance? No, I don't. This is my girlfriend's phone. I'm calling her right now. You don't need to call her. Hang up the phone for me. Hang it up. What's that? Hey, hey ma. Oh, ma. I just got pulled over and we on the highway right now. I was coming back to come. Oh, yes. I can't hear what she said. If he's, can I just talk to him? He's right here. You, he can hear you. Oh. I literally was about to come back and come grab you and the baby and go back home. That's where I was just coming. Yes, yeah, okay. He, he can hear you though, Ma. Oh, I just said, just let him know that he's He can hear you. Talk to him. Yeah, that's what I'm stopping her for. I saw the registration expired like two years ago. Okay, so somebody else is on it. All right, you got paperwork on it? Yep, my ex-husband, yeah. You got paperwork or something on it? Hang up the phone, man. It's your traffic stop. I, 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 get, I get what's going on now, though. Paperwork in a car? Let's get an ID from you first. Once he was asked to step out of the vehicle, he put it in drive and took off at a high rate of speed, nearly running over the officer's feet. Yes, I got 1040. How about for me, man? How about for me? Take a second, 1040. He's taking off, taking off uh, westbound 16, taking off male black driver. The driver was later identified as 29-year-old Devante Bradley. The officer didn't pursue Devante, but located his vehicle a short time later in the Home Depot parking lot. Police checked a nearby hotel, and they stated Devante and his passenger were there making phone calls and were soon picked up. The original owner of the vehicle was contacted, but claimed she didn't know much about Devante and didn't have his contact information. Weeks later, police went to speak with the owner of the vehicle. When they knocked on the door, Devante answered, and the officer clearly recognized him as the suspect in his fleeing case. Hello? Okay. Six oh seven. Give me a second. Devante slammed the door in his face and later attempted to flee through a side window. Six oh seven. I had one take off back in the house. He's locked inside. Everybody can respond ten forty. Um, just hold him perimeter for now. Six oh seven information. I was here to uh, follow up on a vehicle pursuit with the RO of the vehicle and the suspect of the pursuit answered the door and then slammed it on me. Who is it? I don't know his name. I think it's Devante, but... The guy that took off from you guys? Yeah. So it's a second door here. There's only one way in and one way out. So that's the door? And that's that's the, door. the door to all the apartments. And that's, there's that's, not a door on the other side. There's a window, though. The second... What's that? There's a window, though, right? I don't think there is a window. There's a window on this one. You want to get 118 over here? Just, uh, I think he was wearing a white beater, black male, tattoos. Um, just keep an eye on these windows on the side over here. Just look careful at the door. He's he's a violent felon. Yeah. I'm just going to see if I can get a search warrant or something, and then I'll let you know. Uh, felony, uh, felony 
clean. Get back. 118, he just stuck his head out the window right here. Stuck his head out the window. He's popped his head out, he saw me right here. Stand by for a second. Waiting for 118. He went back in. Done. Yeah, stand by for a second. Waiting for 118. Come on out here. Can you show me your other hand? Yeah. Come on out. Come on out. We want to talk to you about something. Why can't y'all talk to me right here? Like, I don't understand what I mean. I, I, I am not the officer that's here that originally was at the window, or at the door. Come on, just come on over here for a second. I don't know if I did wrong, bro. And that's not cool. I will be able to talk to you about that. But when you shut the door in our face... You, when you fled from us and you fled back into the apartment, we didn't know what to think. What do you mean? I'm scared. 611, I have contact. There's nothing to be scared about. Just, Look, just, just, no, come on. Yeah, Look. On no, gun. not anymore. Look, no, I didn't know, I didn't know you had anything. Sir. I didn't know you had anything on you. I don't have nothing. I know. So let's talk about this. Okay. So, about what? so I'm Nate. What's your name? Talk about what? About a situation. That's why we're here. What situation? The situation was involving a fleeing in a vehicle from the police. Okay. Do you remember anything like that? I have nothing to do with it. Okay, so then can we talk about it a little further? No, we talking about, but that don't have nothing what's, to do with it. What's your, what's your first name? Just so we make sure that we're talking to the right person. My, my name's Nate. What's your first name? Who are y'all looking for? Who are we looking for? Yeah. What's your name? I want to I wanna make sure. Well, why is it such a difficult thing to give me your name? Who are y'all looking for? We're looking to talk to you in, oh, in this situation. about Like I already talked to you about, the officer that was here originally was here to talk to you. Because he just tried to bust open the door. Like, well, so I, he, it wasn't me, right? You know that, right? But still, like, what but, did I do wrong? It, we wanted to talk to you about okay, the fleeing. you can still talk to me, but I know if I come up here, y'all going to try to handcuff no, me and take me to jail. No, the other here's the deal. Here's the deal. We're not, we're, that's not the whole situation right now. The whole situation is I need to figure out, first and foremost, who you are, and then I need to talk to the no, other officer. Yeah, obviously. I do. I do know who you are, but I want. To, so I want you to confirm. I want you to confirm the name, Jake. Full name, date of birth. Devante. Okay, I just got out of cross county. Yeah. So, but we know that it's you. We know. We know who you are. I'll get. I'll get all the info right here. Just hold on one sec. Six eleven. Can you just go with all the info on Devante? Uh, last name, date of birth. Did he try to bust the door open? Yeah, so. Stuff. Like, so, so I be on that stuff, man. Bradley. What have we got his phone out for, like? Oh, I'm showing him. He's, he's showing me all your info. I literally just got out of a cross county and they, if they, if they would have suspected me of doing anything, they would have kept the, me in there. They, so, this is the officer that's investigating right now. Okay, so that's why he was here. He wasn't trying to bust down your door. So, he he, okay, so Devante, can I, can I talk to you about that? I'm already knowing that if I come out there, y'all gonna try to handcuff me and some other rule stuff. First of all, I just wanna talk to you. Am I right or am I wrong? No, I don't know that right now, Devante. Am I right or am I wrong? I, so I don't know, Devante. I don't know all the details. Me, so, am I right or am I wrong? Devante, regardless, we're not going away. So we need to talk to you, identify you. And if that doesn't happen, we're going to force entry into that room if we get a search warrant. So if you want to make this easy, we just need to talk to you, man. We, we, want, we want to... But we want to talk to you a little closer in person. Potentially, Devonta, you, you might have charges on you potentially for the fleeing. We have to, he has to figure out and he has to talk to you about that. But then it sounds like there's also a situation in Ohio where you have a felony warrant. And they don't want me because I, I'm fighting. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's all we need Th to that, verify. Th then we just need to also then verify this felony, this other situation, not the Ohio situation, but this fleeing thing. That's why he was here to talk to you in the first place. You slammed the door on us, so that's why I showed up. Yeah, so, like, like, so, I got scared. He got his yeah, head that's head fine. That's all right. Devante, yeah. so here's I the deal. Can, you, can, no, can, can you talk to me for a sec? If he just, if he just peeps no, around no, the. No, he can stay right there. He's perfectly so can I come a little closer to you talk to you? Oh, because you're going to grab me and some more stuff, and I'm this 
said, I'm like scared for my life right now. Devontae, there's nothing to be scared of. I don't have my but hand up. Why you take me to jail for what though? Potentially, we want to talk to you about the situation okay, of fleeing. Okay, you're talking right now. Devante, I need you. I need you to read your rights and stuff too. Read me my rights, and that means because that I want to ask you questions about that, that incident. That you're going to try to take me to jail. You're trying to read me my rights. So, here's the situation. I mean, you have okay, if charge them. Devante, here's the deal. I don't know if your first name is Devante. I recognize you from the fleeing. So right now, I'm telling you, you are under arrest. I want to talk to you about that situation. If you flee inside the house again, no, I'm going to end up breaking through that door. I, listen, I'm not, but at the same time, like... I can show you pictures that I have, and you can help me confirm that. So he's, he has probable cause to place you on arrest right now for based on the fleeing situation. So he has photos of that. That's why he was here, because he wanted to talk to you and confirm some information. So you, right now, he just told you you're under arrest for fleeing. Right, so you're about to take me to jail. Well, we, he wants to read your rights you're, and talk to you. You're about to take me to, if he's reading me my rights, he's definitely trying to take me to jail, right? Good thing, Sean. I don't, I don't know the details. I don't, yeah, I don't know the full. I'm not going to discuss all that here. What do you mean you're not going to discuss all that I want to discuss the situation with you right now. If you don't, if you feel like you don't want to talk to me, yes, I'm going to arrest you for, for fleeing. I'm talking to you. You're not, though, because we're not I need to about read that. your rights. There's a legal process in place, man. I'm just letting you know right now you're under arrest. But you're about to take me to jail. You said but, but I'm he, under arrest. Because he told you you're under arrest right now. So so right now he can't ask you questions about that. You have rights. Your rights, you need to be read your rights in order for him to continue questioning you about like, anything like yeah, this. Like, I'm so, really scared for my life right now. Okay, there's nothing to be scared of. It, the only thing that would be happening right now, you'd either be released on a signature round or you'd go to Lacrosse County Jail. That'd be the situation that we're dealing with right now. But if you go back in the apartment, Devante, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. If you go back in the apartment, Devante, we're going to get a warrant, okay? And we're going to, and we're going to knock down the door. We don't want to do that. We want to take this peacefully. We don't want to, we just want to talk to you. But when you first originally, when he knocked on the door, he just wanted to talk to you. Originally, then you slammed the door in his face and then he yeah, recognized you. Did you or did you not talk? I did was because you? I have a felony. No, was I, was I lying? No, I was no, not lying. I'm not arguing. So, the, the, yeah. Devante, here's the deal. I wasn't here for any of that, right? Ma, they, man, he, they trying to take me to jail. I literally just got out of the cross okay. They didn't mention nothing about, no, none of that stuff. Yeah. When, and then, look, you're trying to run towards me. You're going to make me scared for my life. We're not doing that. You literally just whispered to him you're in and control. just said something to him, dude. You're in control of this right now. Devante, I said no. I said we're not doing that. Did, so, here's you're the deal. You're in control right now. Here's the deal. We want to make this peaceful. I know you got mom on the phone. So maybe mom, maybe mom can talk to, we, the situation is you ha we have probable cause to place you under arrest. That doesn't mean necessarily you're going to a cross county jail. Depends on what the charges are. You could be issued a signature bond. If you're not issued a signature bond, you're going to go to jail. Okay. But I can guarantee you that I'm if you- I'm going to jail, bro. We don't- I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to go to court and all this other stuff. To see, because I'm already facing charges. That's what you're not understanding. What charges are you facing? Charges in the cross. Yeah, for what? For, uh, they trying to hit me with a sex case right now. They trying to hit me with a, hey, uh, can uh, you stay back in there? Assault on a police officer right now. Assault on a minor right now. So, Devante, can you see though? Can you see when you're reading off all these things to us that? We want to talk to you, but the way the behavior that we're kind of in right now because also raises. Also, also no, we're not. I said we're not doing that. I said we're not doing that. So, Devante, here's the deal. Like you no, know, I want to tell you something too. There's more officers coming. Okay. Because okay, because they don't, don't rush you. We're not bro. rushing you. I want time. I will come yep. I, I want you to do that, and we're ready to do that for you. We're not gonna. We're not gonna bull well, rush you. We're not gonna. Devante, we're not going to grab you. We're not going to do anything like that. We're just, we want to peacefully talk to you, but this needs to be done in a situation not like this. Okay? We need to get closer to you. Okay? Yes. 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 We might, we probably will place you in handcuffs because he told you you're under arrest. So here's the situation. You're under arrest right now. So part of the arrest process is being placed in handcuffs. Right, then you're going to take me down. Not, uh, remember, like I said, th there's a possibility. I don't know all the charges he has on you. If he has a multitude of charges and he has felony charges and stuff like that, and you're on a felony bail or bond, that's what I'm uh, are you? Yeah. So then, unfortunately, yeah, Devontae, you're going to go to a cross county jail. That's what I'm saying. I'm not about to get out, dude. 
Devante, but that we're not going away. The situation's not going away. You going back into your apartment isn't going to change this situation. We're not leaving. Okay? So we're trying to handle this peacefully, and we're trying to get this done right here, right now. We're not bull rushing you. We're not screaming at you. No one's pointing guns at you or anything like that. Orig originally, when you, when you came back out, I did have my hand on my gun, right? Because I didn't... And what, did, and what did I say? Can I see your other hand? Yep, and then, I, and then I took my hand off my gun. Eventually, officers convinced Devante to give up and turn himself in peacefully. To me. Okay? I'm gonna... Devante, here's the deal. I'm gonna take one step in. You can shut your apartment door. I just locked the door. Okay, that's fine. We, we, see, here's the deal. We don't know what... We can't see what you have inside there. So, yep, I'm gonna take one step closer to you. Okay? We're not going to rush you. So, not rushing you. What I want you to do is I want you to, do you have your mom on the phone still? Yeah. You want to just set the phone on the ground? You can leave her on the phone. You can leave her on the phone. You can just set her on the ground. If you want to, if you want to prop it up, you can prop it up right there on the, just, I know, I know. So, if you just go like this, put your hands, down. Put your hands yep. on you. Put your hands behind your back, just. No, no, no. You can, you can uh, face uh, me. No, no, Devante, you're probably going to jail. We've already talked about that. Devante, you have a you have a felony bail, so we got to get it over with. We're not going away. Yeah, for sure. I got I got cigarettes in my car. I got cigarettes in my car. We'll let you smoke, but we're gonna put you in handcuffs. I'll light it for you. I got a I got a lighter. Just just relax. Devante, I'm gonna walk a little closer towards you. Okay, you hear me? I'm gonna walk a little closer towards you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab your arm. Okay, I'm gonna put it behind. I'm not gonna hurt you. No one's hurting you. I'm put your hand behind your arm. Yep. We're gonna. Is this your mom? He'll hold. He'll hold the phone. He'll hold the phone to mom. Hold it for it. Cut it off. No, you can. You can. You can. Mom can stand there. No, we'll talk to mom. Cut it off, mom. It's okay, mom. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna. No, I want it on. I want it on. It's okay. You can keep it on. Leave it on. Leave it on. She wants it on. I'll hold it for you. I'll hold it for you. She wants it on. Okay. Your call. I'm gonna cut it off. Okay. She don't want it off. Just, just hand we'll, it over. We'll keep it on. Devante, just hand it over. He wants to see her. Yeah, he don't want her to see her. Okay, I get that. I get it. So here's the deal. We're gonna put you in handcuffs right now. Okay. I know it's okay. Just, just relax. Hey, good, hey, good job. Yeah, it's okay. 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 We'll go right out. Yep. We'll go right out. Let you smoke that cig right away. Yep, yeah, I'm just letting you go. Oh, we're gonna take it with we're, you. We're gonna take it with you. Hold up, here you go. Here you go. So you, don't, you said you didn't want to answer it? He just put it in my pocket, please. I'm gonna take everything off. He's gonna, ta he's gonna take yeah, it in his car. I'll put it in front yep, and stuff. Yep, and you can see it. Was that your mom or? No, my mom. Should we tell her that you're just going down to jail? Or does she know? Does she know how to get a hold of Cross County Jail? Yeah. Okay. So, when you get there, you'll be able to make, you can call her or she can call you. Otherwise, we can call her. I can call her from my phone. It doesn't have to be from your phone. If you know her number or anything like that. And I can tell her that's where you're going. Every, yeah, everything's good and you're just going to go down there. And... That you're safe. Okay. We're not, we're not looking to hurt anyone or anything like that, Devante. That's not any of the situation. I know, I know that some of the stuff maybe was seemed a little different when you first answered the door. You said that. We thought he was coming in, but when you shut the door on us, we 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 don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. I know, Somebody no, I know, I know, and that's that's where the communication maybe was was needs to be there. You just want to ask it for you. I'm gonna count this in front of you, so we're on the same page, okay? Do you know how much is there? Okay. Ten four, that'll be him. You can go with the update info. Oh. Now, oh, is great. That was wrong, oh, man. I, so I'm going to read your rights. I don't know what's going on in La Crosse. I don't, I don't really even want to talk about that. I have nothing for that. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you so wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Okay, with your rights in mind, the only thing I wanted to talk to you about, and it's up to you if you want to tell me what's going on um, when I conducted the traffic stop on you, 
I just, why did you flee? Was it just that lacrosse stuff going on, or was it just a suspended license? I see. I mean, why was that? Why was that time such a panic for you? Yeah, we're we're just taking it slow, man. I mean, like I said, the only thing I have you on is that one the fleeing charge, but everything else you got going on, I, I don't know. But I'm not doing anything with that right now. Okay. The situation with that he was involved in, you might, if depending on what the bails are, you might be sitting on a bail jumping charge too. I'm definitely gonna be sitting on a bail jumping charge. But, but how long have you been? Out? I, I mean, if you want a lawyer, I won't ask you any questions. I'll figure it all, and I just kind of fill you in as we go. Yep. Okay, so. We're, he's gonna walk you back. We'll get you buckled in, and then he'll explain everything to you. No. You want me to leave your phone off for now? Can grab numbers off of it, or? Devante was charged with felony counts of fleeing eluding an officer and bail jumping times two. He also currently has five other open cases consisting of several felonies such as battery to an officer, possession of cocaine, and child enticement. His cash bond was set at $1,000. Do you enjoy our content and want to see more? Join the Code Blue Cam Patreon for early access to ad-free videos, exclusive content not published on YouTube, behind the scenes, and much more. See the link in the description for more information. We are truly thankful for all your support.